What is going on YouTube? This is John from Emphatic coming to you with a process tag team champions video. Uh, we're just going to get started here. We got Sloppy Second, me hitting this base, uh, Howard's plan. And uh, I seem to have forgotten how to zoom on. There we go. Can we? Okay, we can use the up and down arrows too. All right, so what's going to go on here is we're going to funnel these two buildings here. Uh, a couple archers. We're going to get an archer over here. We're going to get a baby dragon down here to build a funnel down here. Next up, we're going to drop queen and four healers about right here. She's going to take out all these buildings, walk all the way over where we're going to wall break her in about right here. Meanwhile, we're going to wall break down here. Keen and boys are going to come in. They're going to share a jump spell, go in, have access to two, three air defenses. We're going to get an inferno. And then we're going to lalo. Originally called for hogs to take this out, which I did try, but we're going to lalo onto this one and sweep across the top of the base. So let's see it in action. We got our archers down to start building the funnel. We had to get the queen down early to tank this, by the way. Actually, we could have started working on that a little bit earlier. But as you see, the, that army camp is going down slowly, so we drop a minion to take that out. Meanwhile, Queen is working on two cannons. She gets out of range of the first cannon, comes up to get the second. And she says, GFY. So, that's part of the scouts blown. I'm sitting here scrambling, thinking of what to do. I gotta get the CC at the very least. I gotta try to get two stars. Actually, two stars wasn't really in my thought process because this is a triple or triple or fail or nothing base. One of the bases we designated. So we get a rage down to speed the queen through, even though she's dealing with that inferno. And we get our wall breakers in, basically practicing that corner hit. So queen gets in. She is going to work her way, get in a, another uh, heal spell or rage spell, and take out the inferno. So she does not get in range of the CC. And, but I do expose a skeleton trap. So that's some good information there. Meanwhile, we're going to try the hogs. Basically, the, or if, if this was done correctly, the hogs would have been tanked. And level 6 would have done a lot better job. <laughs> Which they, these level 5s did barely anything. So we sit here. Okay, we might as well try the bowler entry. Keen down. We're going to send in the wall breakers. Discover there's no bombs there, so that's good. And send in the CC bowlers. Bowlers are going to walk off because Queen did not make that part of the funnel, of course. So CC's finally lured. We have a heal spell and a rage spell. No, we don't have a rage spell. Down. We got the heal spell down, though. That was originally intended for the balloons. And we are working to try the Lalo. Let's see how it goes. It's noted that these balloons do not have a chance to go down to here. Unless they successfully take out the uh, Infernal Tower, which they're never going to get a chance to do because of the uh, air defense. But you can see the direct pathing where they come back in towards the core and then they'll sweep their way back this way. So that's basically everything that they need. I'd still get the star on it. So I would get paid if this was not an arranged war. But let's see what the next attack does. Next attack will be Exodus. See Exodus got the second star and let's see how he uh, tweaked it. And I don't know if this was intentional to start, but it does show some great information. Is that a upgraded at Scott Bell Factory? We got Queen down. We got Healers down. Uh, originally, I said that this cannon needed to die. Gets a Golem down to start building the funnel. So while so uh, minions are building the funnel instead of a baby dragon. Wallbreaker comes in. More Wallbreakers in. Gets the wall opened. Eh, it must have been intentional. Wallbreaker fell down here due to a mortar. So Queen is in. She's going to start working. She is working on dealing, taking on a lot of point damage. And this is a primary Town Hall 9 account that's running this attack right now. So drops a freeze on the Inferno. Basically seeing what he's uh, up against. 
gets the rage poison. Queen's going to have to deal with the hound. So Queen's going to die there. We get the jump spell down. The bowlers are working their way in. And he doesn't have clan castle bowlers. One of them hits a spring trap, unfortunately. We get healers coming in to help. Pull two black bombs. Very important information. And he decides he's going to send in the Lalo down here. Which will send these balloons directly into this Inferno should this uh, air defense be down. So that's good information to have. We get the heal spell down. Queen's still alive, so she's going to mess with this Lalo portion. But balloons are still going to come up, do a decent job of working their way through. We're just going to go times two on this. Because it actually will run times four. Because we've already seen the Lalo. He gets enough minions down to get the second star. So we at least have that. And actually, we'll just bounce out. He ends up with like a 75 or something like that. So, I come back in, try to do this again. And they convinced me this was a good idea to uh, do the wall breakers that were at, or to get the queen up to take care of this Inferno Tower. Which is still a deviation from Howard's originally drawn plan because they all broke in down here. There's, that's what he drew. So, we're going to speed it up at least times two. Queen down, healers down. Bowlers are working on a funnel. Wall breaker in a safer location. Queen walks. I don't think I got the wall breakers down in time. So she's not going to go get that inferno tower. Unless she starts beating through the wall. I really don't remember my attack right now. She starts beating through the wall. That's what happens. But pretty imperative she does get that, that inferno tower. Single loon goes in to take out the... Uh, Black Bombs, and then the Lalo portion, as before. We know the Lalo's going to work. So it's just getting the opener down right. And we picked up a little bit more on the pathing there for the loons. That uh, if the loons were working their way up like this, then they're coming back down, or they're staying up there, they're not coming back down. So 84%. Let's watch the base get smoked. And we'll watch it at normal speed. Howard, the original author of the plan, goes back to using his baby dragon. Archers are down building the funnel. Golem coming down. So he's got no he, he does not have any healers here. So he's able to bring more troops. He's only got four uh, bowlers. He might have some of the CC. I don't remember off the top of my head. But we sent in some balloons. Watch the value these balloons are going to get. They're going to take that. They're going to help. They would have taken that arch tower if the arch tower was never shooting at, or was never getting hit by the queen. They're going to come and they're going to pull this black bomb. Not that that black bomb mattered. However, queen's only got to deal with a, a wizard tower before dealing with the inferno tower. So, bowlers are down. CC bowlers included. We're getting rocks thrown everywhere. Queen is working on a storage. Then she's going to work on the uh, skeletons and then go up and take care of the uh, Inferno Tower. Bowlers are having a hard time, but the area of the jump spell is getting them out of range of the uh, Inferno Beams. Hound is coming to pull red bombs away from the CC, or the Inferno Tower. Rage and freeze in. Probably didn't need that freeze. But since that inferno is gone, balloons are going to push their way back up, and we're going to basically have two waves of balloons working their way through this uh, base. First hound breaks. We're dealing with. Uh, actually, he sent some balloons in from the back end to take up at 12 o'clock. So slowly, the balloons are working their way through. See, he, since he didn't need that freeze, he probably could have brought a uh, another couple haste and just gotten through this a lot faster. But he's having no problems. Minion takes care of the uh, ill-advised placed uh, bomb towers that are on the corner huts. And that is that the base is cooked. We only have like two minion or two pups shooting at the uh, Lava Hound. So they're not going to, that thing's not going to pop before the base is taken care of. And that's a great hit to Howard. So that was one of our two Town Hall 10 triples for the Bada Bean War, and I will be back to show you the next one. Thanks for watching.